Welcome everybody, this is uh, Neil McCray, I'm at UK Pinfest. Um, today I've got um, a bunch of seminars, this is the second one uh, with the Pinavian guys who've got Kill Bill um, and they, it's kind of a, a kind of bedroom homemade kind of passion of pinball built machine. Uh, it's quite exciting, I quite like these projects because they, they sometimes spawn some uh, great things. So uh, Jared from Pinavian is going to take us through some of the, the detail of the machine and then at the end we'll We'll have a bit of a, a, a play of it and, and see how it see how it flips. Over to you, Jared. Yeah. Thank you. 
for the record, I'm not the man uh, uh, behind Kill Bill, I'm the man uh, besides uh, Kill Bill. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I'm not from Pinovating, but uh, I have something to do with it, but I want to do an introduction for the, the big man behind Kill Bill. But this has a story. Every story has a beginning, right? So, where does our story begin? Uh, I've been a, a pinball player since I was uh, very young, and it never went away, so it uh, went totally out of control, my hobby. And today, uh, I am the CEO of a museum in the Netherlands, a Dutch pinball museum, and now it's my, not my hobby anymore, it's my work. A daytime job, full-time, seven days a week, from the morning uh, till the evening, believe it or not. And this is my first weekend off in three years. So I'm very excited because my wife is running the museum now with support. And I'm texting, oh, it's going great. But it's going great. So I now have the chance maybe to go to Texas in, in March. <laughs> yeah, the first, seven, the first uh, trial was, uh, was a good one. But um, I love pinball, obviously. And um, uh, so... From my childhood, I was uh, playing a lot, and since then I was uh, starting collecting in my 20s. And uh, the collection was getting bigger and bigger, and I loved, lo I loved pinball. But uh, I always uh, loved the idea to build my own pinball machine. But I have two left hands in building pinball machines. I have, I can have great skills in other things, but you cannot apply them into a pinball machine. But uh, I can, uh, I'm a very enthusiastic guy, and I can combine people together. So in uh, 2010 or so, uh, Dennis uh, recently uh, did uh, a thing uh, with a new device called P-Rock. Now everybody knows P-Rock these days, and then it was brand new. And Dennis uh, uh, did not have seen the sun before uh, about a year or so. So he was in his room uh, programming a game for Demolition Man. And the Demolition Man is on the floor now, but Demolition Man is not Demolition Man anymore. It's Demolition Man on steroids. Very uh, custom uh, uh, software, uh, very different rules than... Yeah, yeah. thank you. Uh, very different rules than the original. And I was flabbergasted. So the first appearance with this machine was in my game room. And we uh, uh, invited a lot of guys. And at the end of the evening, I talked to Dennis, and I know him a little, but not as good as today, and yeah, and I, got, I got a wish, and uh, you did the programming, but I really, 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 my biggest wish in pinball is make my own pinball machine, and it has to be The Matrix. Oh, why? Yeah, because that's my most favorite movie ever. Uh, the Shawshank Redemption is my number two, but you cannot make a pinball machine out of it. It doesn't matter. Yeah. But, um, so I talked to Dennis, and Dennis is very, uh, I don't know the, 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 the English word, but Ingetogen, very quiet, he's, he's a very good guy. So Inter I was talking to him. Introvert. Yeah, introvert. And um, I was talking and talking and more and more and more and he, he, he observed me and hmm, he only did hmm. So I took a machine and it's Johnny Monomic, it's one of my, my, fa my favorite uh, themes and Johnny Monomic, the character is Keanu Reeves. Hey, Keanu Reeves is in the Matrix and there is a Matrix in the Johnny Monomic and all the ideas that get together and Dennis, uh, I don't know how it exactly go, but a couple of days later, he called me. Oh, I think uh, you have a great idea. Let's do it. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't know with what we started. Um, we had the idea to build a pinball machine. And uh, yeah, where do you start? Dennis was doing the program. And I said, uh, programming. And I had the idea, OK, I'm going to do the rest. But two left hands in that stuff. I had to enthusiast uh, other people into the hobby. So my uh, friend and uh, Sasha, now he's, uh, he got two right hands, <laughs> and he was my uh, winger, my, uh, my, uh, my left-handed, right-handed guy. So he was supporting me. And we started with our three uh, guys building the matrix. And then, and well, we, uh, uh, we asked other people to join us with little things, big things, uh, artists for uh, Airbrushing or designing a new coin door with no, uh, no, no sloth. So everybody that did their job, it was high standard. Wow. But we couldn't uh, afford to, uh, do, uh, to do something sloppy. So eventually, the matrix was uh, really uh, a thing 
that was went on and on and on and we made it into perfection, I think. So eventually, three years later, 10 guys and 3,500 hours, the matrix was there. And it was a dream. Uh, I had my own uh, matrix pinball machine and I, uh, I was very fond of everybody that's putting their, their input in there. And that was it for me. Not uh, for me, and uh, I built my uh, own pinball machines with the effort of those guys, and without them, it wouldn't happen at all. But from that moment on, the other idea that I had was starting a pinball museum. So that eventually uh, uh, worked. So I had my own pinball machine. But Dennis had another dream. So Dennis uh, said, "Well, yeah, I'm going to go on doing what I'm doing," and he's uh, starting programming on Kill Bill. A Kill Bill was, uh, I think, uh, one of his dreams, but uh, I supported him in ideas and stuff and uh, hearing about it, but I had to run a museum, so he had to find his own way with some uh, help from other guys. So um, he did the Kill Bill, but you have to uh, imagine he's doing now programming for almost eight years on a weekly basis and every hour is going in there, but would you imagine that uh, 800 programming uh, for the demolition man, I think uh, 1600 for uh, matrix and this one is uh, more than three thousand. More than three thousand. So in the last eight years, he, he hasn't seen sunlight. So if you look at him <laughs> and you don't have color, yeah, you know why he's having program. And uh, we both are married. Uh, Sash is also married. And how? What great idea is that? So that your wife is supporting what you are doing. I always love the idea. When I'm doing, I'm, uh, I'm doing uh, uh, educational tours in my museum and always telling stories and I always uh, get my wife in, in into, the, into the story that without, uh, you can have ideas, but if your wife isn't supporting them, yeah, it doesn't work. So that's, that's the story about Dennis, if his wife uh, says, oh, man, we're gonna go uh, grab some coffee in the, in the center. Doesn't work. So uh, all guys, a lot of guys here, but I want to thank all the wives that are supporting us in our hobby. Um, I want to introduce Dennis. Uh, he's gonna tell you more about the Kill Bill. And afterwards, if you have questions about the major demolition and kill bill, we can answer it or uh, stuff like that. So, Dennis, uh, please come in front. Yes. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, thank you. I'm Dennis. I'm the, the pill guy. Uh, sorry, uh, <laughs> we need a little bit more. And the uh, introvert as well. So, uh, we're going to see how it goes. Um, I think everybody has seen Kill Bill on the floor, right? Um, and I guess with all the pinheads here, you probably have recognized that the base of it is uh, is a Wilco trucker. So I'm, uh, but we have, we have a lot of pictures now here on the on the laptop, and I just want to show you what happened. Um, the ball area, uh, th this is my prototype. I did all the all the programming on. Uh, on a, a real World Cup soccer, so no uh, Beatrix on the play field, no uh, insert naming the way it is, but everything is like uh, the build lock and uh, the free kick and stuff like that. So everything happened uh, in my head. Can you do one more? One back? Yeah, just one, one back. So the first thing uh, um, I was always thinking about with, uh, with the build Cup soccer is the ball area. It always, uh, I was like, you know, uh, build Cup soccer needed one more shot. Uh, I think it has a great layout, but one more shot would be very nice. So I was very interested in doing a center in a center loop shot. So the first thing you do is, you know, you get a, a, a ball guy from uh, whatever kind of machine you have, and you start bending it a little bit, and, and then you're like, okay, you know, now what? You know, if you pull the ball through it, you know, it's going to fly everywhere. So it's like, okay, you know, you take your drilling machine, ooh, you play field, and uh, yeah, it's, it's a bit of a sweaty moment. Uh, and then comes the sizzle, because what I wanted with the center loop is uh, for the scoop to have two entrances, like on the, on the attack from Mars. So if you did your first drilling, you're more confident, and I was like, okay, so uh, let's get the, uh, the serious stuff uh, uh, here, and try to see if this is going to work out. Um, uh, one back uh, Like uh, things like the space uh, in between, uh, how much space and do you need for a ball to go through and to make it uh, flow. Uh, but once you do that, you know, you're gonna uh, block the right flipper uh, angle for uh, uh, re reaching the goal. So 
how far are you gonna uh, put it? You gonna put it here? You gonna put it there? You gonna put it there? So there's a lot of trying and doing, and uh, but it, it'll work out. So I put a center post in here, a center post uh, to divert it, divert it to the to the other side of the scoop, and also to make a, a, a loop shot. Come on, dude. And the last time we spoke wasn't the most pleasant. I know. <laughs> but you've got to get over being mad at me. Yeah. <laughs> and start becoming afraid. No, because she is coming. She's coming to kill you. Yeah. And unless you accept my assistance, I have no doubt she will succeed. Well, thank nice program. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sweating a little bit more. Um, uh, so, so, so uh, now I have the spinner shot. Uh, I have a big hole here. I'm thinking what I'm going to do with that. I've got the, the, the other entrance, I can make a loop shot, and I also wanted to lock it there. So there are two oppos now uh, over there. Maybe you can do the uh, next one. Uh, one back. Yeah, one back. Oh, one more back? Yeah, yeah. Um, so with uh, converting to Kill Bill, I'm skipping a few years now. You know, you have a totally center play field. And the guy who was doing all the artwork, he also did the welding, and he was you know, trying to fancy my ideas, because uh, the, the ball guide you saw is not the most pretty one. So he was like, yeah, I'm going to do something more like, you know, with a, a steel, uh, steel bar, and uh, the drop shot thing, uh, the, 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 uh, the big hole there, I think, you know, we need to uh, move, it, uh, move it a little bit, so he's, he's much better with all the, all the tools and stuff. So we saw the drawing. So this is the actual white wood uh, play field that's uh, uh, that's in the room, and uh, yeah, you know, you see his first drawing, and he wasn't very confident with the angle uh, of, of going uh, uh, straight down the middle uh, kind of thing. So that that's his drawing on the on the on the white wood. Uh, so now we get the steel bars over here uh, uh, that that he's bending. And you know, uh, also here, you know, the high, uh, uh, how high are you gonna do it, and is it gonna hold up when you're uh, 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 gonna uh, play a ball uh, uh, through it? Also, the the, the side, uh, the, the sidelines, uh, to get the ball into the scoop. Yeah, you see some artwork uh, already here with the crazy eighty-eight and stuff. And oh, uh, yeah, one more Yeah, yeah. And then now you see the two holes for the uppost and also the, the, the slot for the, for the switch. So everything now is ready for that, uh, yeah, for, and the drop shot, and the total loop shot, and the lock shot, and a diverting shot into, uh, into the scoop. So that's how I tried you know, to make that extra shot that I needed on the, on the, on the wheel clip socket. And then we have uh, like original and my prototype, and this is how it finally uh, became on the, on the white book. It's the other side. Now you see the uh, the attack from Mars scoop, very close everything with uh, with the drop target and the switch. So that's also one of the reasons that we uh, uh, got that drop target hole and just moved it a little bit, or ev or else everything would be uh, uh, touching each other. And this is the final one. Right. Uh, the demon needs this one. Yeah. Uh, top bump area, uh, three uh, jet bumpers there. So yeah, and I, I kind of like jet bumpers, but you know, m most of the time not three because the ball gets there. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, you know. So I want a li little more action. Started experimenting with the third <coughs> flipper, um, and I was thinking about a captive ball here. So removed everything and started, uh, yeah, trying to assemble the, the flipper and especially the other side of the playfield because you, you also have the, the stand-up target there and the pop bumper thingies and it's, it's very crowded and you got the big bracket uh, uh, here for your uh, for the support of the flipper. So also that was very you know triggering and well it all worked out. So this is again how it is on my uh, on my World Cup soccer. There I still I left out that uh, that uh, third uh, jet bumper, and we placed that back in because I really like the effect. Also, you know, of, of that one being capable of uh, making that captive ball shot. So 
a little nudging uh, is uh, is mandatory. It's from the above. Yeah, this the this the bottom side with all the wiring and stuff. And Yeah, right loop shot. Also, one of the things that I didn't like on the World Cup soccer, um, like <coughs> most of Pepe Duyak's game, you know, when you got the the, the right orbit, uh, sorry, the left orbit, that is, uh, that is diverted to your slingshot. So you get a really unbalanced uh, shot. You know, it's hard to control. So it's not really worth it. And I really like it. You know, when you get the ball back on your uh, on your flipper. So we started uh, bending back this part so that it would just. Uh, um, what we say, past the slingshot, and problem then is that you get in this area here, you get uh, a little problems with the brackets and stuff. So it's also a matter of cutting down the ball guides and yeah. <laughs> so it's nicely cut normally on wood Cup soccer. It, it goes through through the air or something, and just that was just a little too uh, too much, too much length. So now we have the nice shot. On the scoops on World Cup soccer, you have three scoops. Uh, uh, one on the on the left side, on the right side, and one on the top here. You see the top is already gone, and uh, this one is about to be uh, uh, filled up and sent it down. And we have the where is it? Over here, yet the uh, uh, the left one. This was actually <laughs> actually a mistake. Um, Geert, uh, we were talking about the left scoop. I wanted the left scoop. Uh, 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 use the left saucer for left scoop, and he had the play field reversed. So even with professional guys, you know, they start filling up the wrong hole. <laughs> he he thought the play field was like, oh man, that's not good. So he filled it back up again with the broomstick. <laughs> <laughs> it was very handy. It was almost, almost thick enough. Uh, and here's the uh, the scoop. So we also, you know, uh, cut out uh, that thingy from a Metallica scoop. So we can make. Uh, uh, you, you can. You really have a, a shot you can go for. If you have a saucer, it's more like uh, hey, you can try to make that shot, but it's always a little bit uh, a, a luck factor. And with the scoop, you know, you can really make that shot and be sure that it's uh, uh, that, that it goes where you want it. So here we have the uh, the, the kickback target, uh, which is normally uh, the, the, the wider uh, the wider one. And we use the smaller one. So also here for some uh, some, some rubber stuff. Yep. And that's how it became on the kill. On the inserts, there's also a lot of trial and error. You have this big, uh, we call it the banana, the banana insert. And we wanted to do something with the suitcase and with money. And when you just put it on there, you know, it's still the big yellow banana and we weren't really liking it. So do the next one. I put some money on it and still like, yeah, still the big yellow banana. And he was like, okay, I'm gonna, make sure that the insert is totally uh, covered and I just make sure that the, the thing, uh, the, 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 the letters themselves are uh, well, not covered of course. He did it also on the, on the other side of the play field. So if you put a lamp on it, you know, it, it doesn't shine all through and you still it's only suitcase what you read and still not the big bananas coming, uh, uh, it's, it's coming up again. Uh, yeah, uh, what, what, maybe one more? One more back. And you see also with, uh, because he, uh, we started with the white wood, and this is not actually wood anymore, he airbrushed the wood back. So all these things here, you know, it's not really wood, but it, yeah, that's what he airbrushed. Also with the, with the four inserts, uh, like one goal, two goal, three goal, four goals, also totally covered, and we made it the two, three, four, and five time uh, play field award. And that's how it looks on the on the real Kill Bill uh, play field. So not the white wood, but the, the yellow stuff. And 
Uh, we also made some uh, X-ray inserts. Um, I really needed an uh, insert for the for the final uh, kill, uh, for the final uh, uh, wizard mode, the touch of death. Uh, so we took an uh, uh, took an insert and placed it just behind the behind the drop target. There it is. There's the touch of death. So yeah, as you can do one, one back, you can see the detail. Everything here is airbrushed. Uh, uh, all the all the small details with the uh, with the shadow on it and the heart and the bleeding. Red apple. Red apple. Red apple. <laughs> yeah, it's a red apple. That's hard. Every Tarantino uh, movie has a has a red apple. Uh, is it the brand for uh, for cigarette? Yeah, cigarette yeah. brand. Yeah. So if you look closely, every Tarantino movie <coughs> has an uh, has an apple in it. Yeah. Yeah. So I know we haven't spoken in some time. So the mini play The last time we spoke wasn't the most pleasant. Do next. But you've got to get over being mad at me and start becoming afraid of you because she is coming and she's coming to kill you. And unless you accept my assistance, I have no doubt she will succeed. Yeah, also on the mini play field, but uh, a few uh, ideas because we didn't like the, the big plastic ramp going all around it. And we wanted something more smooth, uh, so something more fast, uh, fast returning to your flipper. So we're thinking about, and we still wanted the, a lock area. So we're thinking about uh, two magnets here. Uh, that was one of the ideas, but then we have to uh, 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 reuse another coil and we needed a coil for something else. So this is one of those drawings that didn't make it. And yeah, if I, th th this is the final assembly, you know, with the smooth turn. And instead of the lock being on the on the left side now, it's more on the on the right side. Yeah, just the, the basic uh, first uh, first airbrush and done with the with the pictures on it. Original. And this is this full floor in full glory with the plastic on it and uh, and clear coat. So you don't see it like this in the in the uh, in, the, in the playing room because this is the r the real kill bill and not the white wood, but that's how it turned out. Also with the ramps, uh, like I said, with all the all the plastic, we wanted to remove a lot of plastic because it blocks the view and it's not not, not so pretty and it doesn't sound as good as uh, as metal uh, as metal uh, wire forms. So we started really, you know, going going all out. Didn't really know what we uh, were getting ourselves into, but <laughs> <laughs> thanks to here, he, uh, yeah, no, he he pulled through. So this is the first bending uh, of the of the metal, and to see where we get. Also, every ring is welded in one by one. Then it's fitted into the original ramp to make sure we have the uh, kind of the same measurements and the same flow. And yeah, here you see the uh, the original ramp from the World Cup Soccer on the on the right side. That's the lower ramp, and yeah, it's just cut off. At some certain point, you, you take your chisel again and start cutting off your uh, your ramps, making attachments, and uh, yeah, just pray for the best. Uh, here we start with the lock ramp. That's another thingy. And uh, oh yeah, maybe one more. Oh, one back there. Uh, one of the last things I asked Geert, and he was putting in a lot of hours already. And I said, Geert, you know, there's still one thing that I really like to see in the machine. So you don't have to do it, but if you still have the time and you know the the the, the energy for it, I really like another ramp. So. With the soccer, you can shoot the right ramp, and it only goes to your left flipper. With the left ramp, there's a diverter, so it can feed both your left and your right flipper. And I really wanted for that uh, uh, for the right ramp also to be able to feed your right flipper, so you can really start uh, getting a good flow on the machine. So I asked them, you know, is it possible 
to make another ramp uh, uh, to feed that uh, to feed that right flipper. So we started with some ideas. Uh, the, the most uh, obvious part is of course making the ramp and just cutting out a, a little bit of the top ramp. But yeah, at that point, when you get a ball through this, yeah, you know it's going to fall in here all the time, and at most of the time you want it to go over. So also again a few of these. Uh, we had a little thing, you know, with a, uh, I don't know, I don't know the, the English word for it, but yeah, if you can skip this one. It's, it's more like a hook thingy, you know, a lot, lot, lot like a hook that's bended down that, to fill this gap and to get it over the ball and make a diverter out of it, something like this. You can see that the ball can go underneath. And when the diverter kicks in, you know, it takes out those little parts, uh, so, so the ball drops on the other end. This from the other side. Uh, that didn't really work out, so we also had something like a little piece that was just bending, uh, it's going up and down. Also with the diverter, also too tricky. And finally we came up with just a little, uh, piece of metal in the middle so if the ball goes fast enough you know it's supported and if you want to divert it we uh, use a, mat a magnet uh, in, the, in the backboard that's a big magnet with the back panel Okay, this is the full uh, the, the lock ramp in full glory. Uh, we still have a big diverter here that's way too long. So we cut it so, so the ball doesn't hop over, but it's still short enough that if you retract it, the ball can flow, uh, can flow downwards. Also, there was a little mistake, just uh, one or two millimeters uh, uh, too, too low, uh, making just a little uh, uh, the wrong measurement, and you can start over again. So now the ability to lock two balls there. Yeah, I think so. Making a plastic set. Yeah. Uh, the plastic set, everything is done with uh, a gold leaf. So there's real gold leaf here in the, in the plastic sets. Every plastic here has that, uh, that, that gold thing. So, you know, when you shine your, uh, when you got your lighting on, it really has, it starts uh, going from gold to, uh, to white. And the Beatrix plastic, uh, here we have a, a Cobra, that was one of the original IDs, that's still in there, and this is the, the, the new target for the for before it's too good. So any questions so far? Cool. We have some cabinet art, you see the cabinet art here, and we have some other IDs. Uh, this is still one of the options. We have more black one, and one with the stripe just going horizontal with the with the sword like this. I mean, you know, so maybe I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the about the gameplay itself. Uh, Neil. Uh, Neil. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I'm just checking the sound. So. Um, Thanks for that. I think that was a really great um, presentation, and I, I kind of like the um, the trial and error part. Yeah. Of it. Try something, does it work? Try it again. Yeah. To get something that, that flows. So uh, we'll do a bit Q and A. <coughs> um, don't know if anyone's got any questions from the, yeah, the floor. Question. I'm wondering yeah. why did you use World Cup soccer? Uh, because yeah, it's a one. game with a lot of potential. It was. It was. A yeah. Game that you had. It wasn't. Yeah, it, it, you know, it, it, it missed something, in my opinion, and it had some good things, and I was like, okay, you know, it's like, you can, can make it stronger with, the, with that kind of stuff. And, uh, yeah. It's very cheap and all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're not going to do it with the medieval 
medieval men, right? So, and how many World Cup soccer's do you have available to you right now? Uh, just about a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the first ten I've done. The first ten I've done. Yeah, no, no, no. A lot more of them became available when uh, England got knocked out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Brexit, you know. And Germany is also very yeah. fine to get a little bit Um So, so um, any, any other questions from the floor? Okay. Where, how do you... How do you start converting a film to a game? What was like the first playfield toy that you moved across, if that makes sense? Um, like a toy? Well, how, how, how do you take like the ideas from the film and then turn them into a game? Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know about the Kill Bill, but if we're going back to the Matrix, the, the ideas will pop up in your head immediately. Uh, I always, uh, for instance, the Matrix has some very special uh, features. And for instance, in the movie, uh, the Matrix, uh, Morpheus is always standing with his hands on his back. And that's like a thing. And uh, it's been done in, uh, into uh, Simpson Pimble Party, the reverse flippers. But it was new then. So we, what we did in the Matrix is because he's always standing with his hands on his back, and let's do it like he's playing like this, but you have to, um, with mirror flippers. And, and you can also uh, choose to play with normal flippers. And uh, it lowers your scores. Yeah, but it, it, it's only 25% of your scores. But if you cannot maintain it, you can also choose your option. How did it grow? We don't know, but it's in there. So if you're starting, the ideas will pop into your head. Uh, I, uh, like for instance, the Matrix, uh, when I'm playing Attack from Mars, and I'm a player, uh, I can play uh, very well. I'm not a competitive guy. But if, I have, if I'm uh, getting ruler of the universe, I'm awarded with a great show, but I have to go on, and I hate that. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I have to, to shoot everything another four times. So you're you done with it, you know, when you do the final mode, you're like, okay, yeah. yeah. So what's the point of, you know, doing it all again? Yeah, what, we did, uh, yeah. yeah. what we did with the, the Matrix is, uh, if you finish the game, you are the one, it stops. And if you do it in ball one, never been done before, you get an award for the other bonus balls. So what game you can really uh, finish uh, on. But that, has, that, but that was not an idea in the beginning. It was growing. And if you start it, you always have one, two, three ideas. And if you're talking if you're with the three guys in the evening, oh, this idea, this idea. And the, the, most of them, you uh, shove it away. And some ideas, uh, I'm yeah, calling it Dennis, uh, I got an idea. And he, next time he, he called me, I got even better than that. <laughs> so you inspire your... Uh, you'll get inspired by building a game. Yeah. So also with, uh, with Kill Bill, uh, when it started like four or five years ago, you, know, you didn't really have the, uh, the TV screens in it and all. So I started with the DMD. So all the DMD animations are still in here. So if you say, you know, I don't have an LCD installed, uh, it, it plays the original animation that I have. And I also started, you know, with, uh, you know, I wanted to make all of everything stackable. You know, everything had to be stackable, but you didn't know what was going on, like Lord of the Rings sometimes. You know, like, okay, well, what, what's playing, what am I doing? So then you start with a lot of stuff, and you're taking it down, you know, you're cutting into pieces, and like Tarantino did with his movie, you know, Kill Bill. Originally, it, it was just one movie, but it was so long, and he wanted to tell so much, it was like, okay, I'm going to make it in two movies. So it was also a little bit with Kill Bill. You know? At some point it was a little too much, and then you take something out and you can use it again, you know, something else, and you're trying to balance the game as well. You know, if you want to try and balance the game, you're like, okay, I'm missing something. Oh, yeah, I had some code here and there, and that was working for this, but maybe I can do that. You know, so some, support it with something else. Some things, it's sometimes it's also very hard uh, uh, to understand if you are uh, beginning to play it. And we, uh, the Matrix, and I think you did it with the Kill Bill, you don't want to do uh, call outs for uh, shoot this, shoot the pyramid, they can stuff like that. You have to understand it. That's very difficult to play it the first time. But if you get it, you will, you, you don't have the annoying thing for shoot this, shoot that. You will understand it. Like for instance, there's a, a, a button over here, and we uh, watch it. Nobody knows it because there's an extra flipper and you don't see it. But and you have to push it and uh, to to activate the flipper, of course. But uh, you you don't see in the screen from uh, shoot. Uh, yeah. 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 You use the push, push the button. button. Yeah. 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 So it's, it's, it's uh, uh, for the other games, we had ideas and we wanted to be our things. So it's going to be difficult, it's going to be hard, but it's, it's going to be fun. And if people don't understand it, 
Yeah. Okay, you have to play it more, and uh, you will understand yeah. it. Uh, there's but definitely nothing, you know, for in uh, in, an, uh, in a cafe or something. No, it's yeah, because Stern makes a game. It has to be understandable for everybody. And we have to say, okay, we're going to do it for the dialogue. So. Any other questions? One at the back. Phil. Phil. Is this it? Is, is this game over? You, you've game you over. talked about the game finishing, so you've done your game, is, is that it? Or do you, yeah. are you having a rest, maybe you have another idea? Uh, well, I, I'm still doing my machine, and this is the white wood. That is for the guy who did all the airbrushing. And I still have to do my machine. So we have a play field and a mini play field. Mm. But still has to be assembled, so I'm thinking, oh, until Christmas, I'm still... Uh, You're making two of them. Uh, yeah, they have one for me for, and one for the other guy, yeah. yeah. Um, so, until Christmas, I guess, you know, my schedule is pretty much uh, yeah, yeah. filled up. Uh, it's the question, uh, are you going to do a fourth title? Or? Yeah, do you, have, do you have something in mind? Uh, for I was trying to duck the... <laughs> 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 that's a, I think that's a yes. No secret. <laughs> yeah, but at this point, uh, uh, I, I don't know. You know, I was talking to Ed, uh, Edwin uh, did, uh, just a few uh, I was earlier, and in my mind, I'm like, you know, th this is it. You know, I've done pretty much what I did, and I did three machines, so what I, you know, I don't have anything to uh, to prove yet, I guess. And I'm not sure I want to do something uh, like uh, commercial, like uh, the guys from uh, uh, the mafia uh, or anything. But, uh, <coughs> yeah, you know, the the next thing would be, you know, a total complete uh, uh, playfield from scratch. Well, yeah. I, I don't know that one. Did. What's very, very funny to, to tell this because we're from the Netherlands, Dutch, Dutch Pinball, you know, Dutch Pinball, the big about you, right? Um, so we did the Matrix, and Dennis uh, said to me, okay, if this is going to be uh, uh, finished uh, in, a, in a couple of time, are we going to do a second one? Yeah, I have ideas, <laughs> and I want to make a big Lebowski. <laughs> in, in the beginning of uh, 2012 yeah. or so. Yeah, just when you're almost done with me. Yeah, and I actually I did take a Flintstones because John Goodman is there, bowling, mm -hmm. stuff like that, and all the ideas popping in my head. And Dennis was, uh, was fun, and uh, he did a little animation by uh, Jesus, Jesus licking the balls, and he rendered the thing and uh, made a film out of the dot matrix and put it on Pinside. Just as a teaser, like, yeah. okay, you know. We're from, we're from the Netherlands, and we were the first Within five moment. minutes, <laughs> that that know that they're gonna make a big Lebowski. Nobody knows be, uh, without their the circle, but they call us guys. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Are you gonna make a big Lebowski? Yeah, we think about. It. Don't do it. We are gonna do it. Okay. So in the same uh, conversation, he said, "Yeah, we're gonna do a big Lebowski, but we actually want to make the Matrix." <laughs> and we did that. So that was a very fun, uh, yeah. fun uh, thing that we. Yeah. Uh, I, th I think Dutch Pinball have got some customers that would love you to make a big Lebowski. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> so moving, moving swiftly on. Um, any other questions from the floor? If not, we'll roll the game round. We'll set the cameras up. And we'll we'll talk do a bit of talk through the game. Yeah. yeah. Great. Thank you. So, just going to move the game into place, and and then we'll uh, we'll do a talk through the game.
forgot something in this issue. But Keanu Reeves can call me and uh, I will uh, away something. Yeah. Yeah. We'll work something out. <laughs> Give me one second, guys. Sorry. Phil, mm. is it okay to put the lights out or is it uh, yeah. too little? For the camera, then. Uh, you, yeah, you got the, the big the white camera, thing here, right? Camera, it'd be okay. The camera won't cope with taking any more lights out, unfortunately. Okay. Do you want to okay. switch yeah. your lights off and we'll switch them on at the back instead? Or might you try, try and see what happens. Yeah. I, I, at the moment, I've. Oh, I don't know how to say I know we haven't spoken up <laughs> in some time. <laughs> I've got one the last time we spoke with this camera. Almost pleasant. I don't know what's going on with it. But you've got to get over being mad at me and start becoming afraid of you because she is coming and she's coming to kill you. And unless you accept my assistance, I have no doubt she will succeed. So maybe a little bit in between. Um, the, the matrix is very hard to get to the, to the final, uh, to the final ism of. And we haven't seen that, uh, we haven't seen that much. And with Kill Bill, I wanted to, to make that more more easy, but balance it more that if you want to do good scores, you have to take risks, you know, and not just go through the regular modes, uh, but also play the side modes and play the left loop shots. So the, the side modes, uh, like a Go Go and Larry and Suitcase and Pussy Wagon, you can earn an extra ball there, or you can really boost your scores, or if you're more in a scoring kind of game, you can, uh, you can go for uh, uh, for Suitcase. Uh, Larry helps you progress uh, through the mode, so if you're not playing a mode that well, you know, you can make it up by playing Larry. Uh, uh, also with GoGo, uh, you can get your uh, place field multiplier to five times, so like so, sort of five times the barn. Um, so it's risky, because GoGo, you know, you only have one opportunity to let the mode just uh, uh, end by itself, uh, or else you have to just play it out, you know, with the risk of, uh, of getting a ball drain. So it's really Um, do you want to try switching the lights round because there is a big white thing? Yeah. Yeah, no, nah, unfortunately I now see nothing. Hold on. No, nah, we need that. Unfortunately I need that no, light on. No, if you just move it just a little bit more and maybe you get the, the uh, big white thing out. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Um, the left and right. Yeah. I think to that side. So he, yeah. Probably about that much that way. Yeah. Uh, that's better. Yeah. That, I think that's as best as we'll probably get without going a lot more this way. That's cool. Thank you guys. Yeah. Um, okay, here we go. So you get some of the, the animations. Sorry. Right, there we go. Um, do you want? To, do you need the DMD on as well? Yeah. We can see a little bit about you know, what's going on. Okay, what you have to do. Do that a little bit. That should be okay. Great. Um, why don't you guys crack on? So Dennis is going to take us through the game. I'm not going to tell. You know a whole lot about the left loop uh, kind of thing. Well, if anyone wants to go up and on that side only, please. I'll be there. Just like the uh, oh, Irish. Yeah. I'm not going to get good at players, so I'm not going to play, you know, I'm just going to throw the ball uh, through it. So it's very important to make the, to make the skill shots, you know. It, progress you to the, uh, to the left loop shots and um, we're not going to do that so we're going to do some holes here first. <laughs> uh, the boat is called a chapter and you start a chapter by getting the boat target down. The first time it stays down, the second time you know, it gets all faster and faster so it's a shot and really have to make it twice. Thank you. 
the button, you can choose two modes in the end of the So that's one, a win, L, Nina, and be able to find a way. So we got. Oh, 